Hi everybody, welcome back. Another episode. I'm the beer wanker. Uh, we've got another beer. This uh, episode, or should I say, pouring uh, of the beer wanker. Um, so without further ado, I'll introduce it. This one's a Sydney brewery. The uh, based out of the rocks. It's the Lord Nelson Brewery. Um, it's getting pretty popular. I mean, it's you know a, a craft brewery linked to a pub, so they have a lot of uh, you know, tap fresh stuff, but um, you know they do also sell out to the out to the shops as well for you to take and drink it at home. Um, this one's a uh, seasonal ale, and uh, it's titled the Second in Command Brown Ale. Uh, the Lord Nelson Brewery tends to uh, title things from uh, from from the British Navy, as it has uh, the the pub has quite a a rich uh, history in uh, in the rocks as one of the uh, as one of the earliest pubs uh, there and for uh, you know uh, for for hosting sailors and uh, recruiting them by uh, certain methods. Um, so what we get is this glorious brown coloured ale. Uh, you can smell chocolate. You can smell biscuits and toffee. Um, and then you get a slight, uh, you know, slight sort of um, getting a slight bitter smell from the from from some of the hops there. Um, so uh, let's give it a go. Mmm, delightfully smooth. You know, mm, silky, kind of creamy, uh, you know, aftertaste. Um, and uh, you know that would that would be sort of the um, the, the bittering hops that it uh, it would have used, um, and then you get if you wait just that little bit longer, get coffee. You know, just a not a strong coffee, just a like you know weak, weakly made coffee um, uh, comes out of it as well, which is really really nice. Um, what I would eat with this, it's got to be a dessert. Um, you know, uh, something something really sticky like a, a you know a toffee pudding or a, a caramel tart would 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 go down a treat. You know, really sort of crumbly pastry followed down with this, as well as a you know that sick you know that that sickly sweet but that delightful you know sort of sweet caramel flavor uh, from you know sort of fudgy flavor from a tart would would actually go down really really well. Um, as to where I found this, it's it's still around. Um, got it at Dan Murphy's but uh, I've seen it in various you know smaller bottle shops who like to you know sell and craft beer and um, you know the guys at uh, our time and the beer cartel generally have uh, all these things so you know look around you can buy it you know you, you'll be able to get it in a few places I'm pretty sure you can buy it online, um, or you uh, can go down and try it at the um, at, at the pub itself in the rocks. Um, you know that would that that'd be my place. You know then it's it's tap fresh, and you know we all know it always tastes better on tap than it does out of the bottle. Um, so that that would be my advice to you. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to rate this four pints. Um, Mainly because I don't have any sort of brown ales to compare it to. It's really good, but it's not my favorite. Uh, I don't, uh, you know, I don't think it's really outstanding. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a great sort of. I don't, I don't know why they call it a seasonal beer to, to bring out in, in summer, because um, this is more of a this is more of a winter beer. So that part leaves me a little bit confused, but. You know, or even awesome. You know, you know some of those cooler days. This would go down really, really well. Um, but otherwise, look, a, a refreshing drop. If you have some, drink it. If you don't have some, get it. Uh, and that's about uh, that's about it, really. That's about all I've got. Anyway, happy drinking. Do it responsibly. Catch you next time.